Hey, welcome back to the channel. Now, Windows Mixed Reality is a fantastic VR alternative to something like the Oculus Rift or the HTC Vive, but one place it's lacking a little bit is the games and apps that are available for it. Now, the good thing is you can play the vast majority of the stuff in Steam VR, and it works just fine on Windows Mixed Reality. There's a few things available in the Microsoft Store, but honestly, uh, the stuff that's available there is not that great, and it's a very, very small selection. But one thing you may not have known is that you could play the vast majority of the Oculus games on a Windows Mixed Reality headset using a free application called Revive. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. So here we go. All right, so before we get started, if you want to know more about Windows Mixed Reality, I'll put a link up here and down in the description to a couple of videos I did on two different headsets. If you have any questions, leave those in the comment section below. And the last thing I wanted to point out is that this is a completely unsupported setup by both Oculus and Windows Mixed Reality. Uh, there's no risk that you're going to do damage to your hardware or anything, but if you go down this road, you're kind of on your own. But I'll walk you through it step by step, and it's a pretty easy setup. So without any further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. All right, so here we are on the desktop, and at this point, I'm going to assume that you already have your Windows Mixed Reality headset all set up and ready to go. So the only other thing we're going to need is two pieces of software. We'll need the Oculus Home software and Revive. I'll have a link down in the description to both these pieces of software, but if we go out to the Revive GitHub page, we'll see that the first thing they want us to do is install Oculus Home, and it has a link that'll take you right to that. So let's go ahead and grab this software it just takes a few seconds to download and we're going to run it now this is the setup for oculus and it expects you to have an oculus vr headset but we can just skip through some of that setup and i'll take you through that right now so let's go agree I'm just going to put it on d that's fine so this is downloading the software and I'll skip ahead when this is done and we'll continue the setup. All right, so there we are. The Oculus software is downloaded and installed. We're gonna go through the setup here. Now, if it takes you into the setup screen, we can just skip through a lot of this. So let's hit next. We're gonna skip the setup and it brings us into here. Now, sometimes you get another uh, setup screen. I've already installed it on this machine, so it didn't go through all, all the setups, but if it does do the initial setup screen, just keep hitting next or skip the setup and it'll eventually bring you to this screen. This is where you can download your, your apps, install your games and stuff like that and then play them. Now, this is all we need to do on this part. There are some uh, application or games that are installed by default that we can use to try this out. So let's skip over to the revive section now. So if we go into revive and we download the latest installer all right, so we're downloaded. We're going to go ahead and launch it and just go through the setup. I'm going to use all the defaults on this. Okay, so it's all installed now. So if we look at the instructions for Revive, it tells us to install Revive in the preferred directory, start Steam VR if it's already running, put on the headset, go into the dashboard, and launch it from there. Now the problem with this is that there was a change in Steam a few months ago that caused a lot of jittering and stuttering and stuff in uh, Oculus games through Windows Mixed Reality if you do it this way. So we're not gonna do it that way. What we're gonna do, and you saw it for a second there, it popped up, is if we go into the Start menu and we go to Revive Dashboard, we're gonna launch this, and this shows us all the games that are installed. And what you wanna do is you wanna launch the game from this dashboard. So you put on your Windows Mixed Reality headset, go into the Windows Mixed Reality home, and then from there you can jump out to a uh, desktop. You can launch the desktop from the start menu in the Windows Mixed Reality home, launch this panel up, and then click on any of these and it'll launch you into that Oculus game. And that's all there is to it. All right, so that's it, pretty easy setup. Just remember to launch it from the start menu or else you're gonna get that jittering. I've used this on several different Oculus games. I play a lot of From Other Suns and Arizona Sunshine, and those work just great with this setup. Uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna work with every single Oculus game. I haven't tried every single one, but I haven't run into one where it didn't work yet. 
I hope you found this useful and informative. If you did, please consider subscribing if you haven't yet. Leave any questions that you have down in the comment section below and come see me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I love meeting new people on those platforms and chatting with them and I'll see you in the next video.